What's happening everybody? Trey here and today at Reactions to the Classics I'm going to be reacting to Kid Cudi's debut mixtape, A Kid Called Cudi. And I want to shout out our longtime friend and patron and big Cudi fan on the channel. Another fellow uh, a Clevelandite. Uh, is that is that the right terminology? I'm not quite sure. But just like Cudi is, Shane, thanks for suggesting this one, man. Excited to dive into this. Uh, we reviewed, uh, my dad and I reviewed a, a, a debut a Man on the Moon studio record um, for Shane probably about a year ago now. Uh, time does fly. And so I'm uh, looking for forward uh, as I've listened to Cuddy's um, a lot of his catalog uh, in in the meantime and uh, I haven't gone back to this debut mixtape though so uh, th this is going to be fun for me to get to hear uh, early Cuddy and uh, see where uh, you can still kind of hear some of uh, what would influence his later work I think it's going to be pretty cool man uh, Shane said it is also so underrated I can't believe some songs have such a relatively low view count as uh, it is a mixtape it's not on uh, Spotify so we're uh, pulling from a YouTube playlist and uh, Shane's right man some of the view counts on these quite low especially for an artist of uh, Cuddy's caliber man but all that to say let's just get into the quick facts of this record a little bit this is the debut mixtape by Kid Cuddy released by New York uh, City streetwear brand 10 deep in conjunction with independent record label Fool's Gold Records in July 17 2008 and it is his first official release uh, production was handled by Plain Pat and Emil and samples range from the likes of Outkast to Paul Simon and Nerd to Band of Horses, so an eclectic mix of groups right there. The mixtape allowed a new progression of Kid Cudi with the release catching the eye of the man, the myth, the legend himself, Kanye West, founder of Good Music, who uh, ultimately would sign Cudi later that year. Notably, the album contains the song Day and Night, his commercial debut single, which reached three on the Hot 100 chart, and I'd say even to this day is one of uh, you know his most famous and popular and beloved tunes. So, all that to say, man, um, due to copyright, but might not be able to have the music in here, but there's a link down below in the description to Vimeo where you can check out the full uh, reaction uncut, man. Uh, shout out to the patrons who allow us to get that server space up there. Always a fun time. And uh, at the end, man, I'm going to give my favorite songs as well as Shane's and my overall score of the mixtape. But... All that to say, man, we'll uh, we'll get this thing kicked off. Uh, we'll go a little one-two punch with intro, A Kid Named Cuddy, since it is only 50 seconds, and then take that right into uh, Down and Out, which is going to sample Outcast Chonky Fire from uh, their best record, in my humble opinion, Aquim and I. Love that song. So... All that to say, man, let's get this thing uh, kicked off right here. Uh, kid named Cuddy. Thanks again to Shane. Let's get it. All right, man, kicking this thing off with the intro and down and out. Uh, so intro, I thought was, uh, I, I do like whenever albums kind of get uh, get into that cinematic vibe or, or whatever the case may be. Like, okay, we're about to start an experience here. And that's what the intro did, man. Uh, it's just uh, sitting down almost in the theater. Uh, be watching out for that popcorn right there. And then uh, we were ready to go with down out. And and, uh, man, as soon as I, Chonky Fire came in that beat, I thought that was uh, so well done. So shout out to uh, shout out to Plain Pat on the uh, production on this one, man. And, you know, a lot of the themes that uh, we would obviously hear in um, the decade plus to follow from this mixtape from Cuddy are already apparent on this, you know, first proper track from uh, this debut mixtape, man. He touches on, uh, you know, uh, mental health. He touches on substances, on finding his place, um, you know, in the world, on women, on you know just a, a plethora of topics in here and uh i thought the first verse you know was uh, solid uh, you know uh, kind of finding his way around the beat and then the second verse i thought was uh was you know really really strong i uh, quite enjoyed that one we already get his uh you know solo dolo nickname in here as well so i thought that was quite notable and um you know as we go on i liked uh, at the end of verse one I was born to be super duper Scott. Uh, the one uh, bad bitch is called super duper lame. Now super duper fame gives me super duper brains. I uh, I like the whole uh, super duper, um, you know, um, kind of a play on words there. And then at the end, soaring past the moon, uh, obviously, you know, man on the moon. He's had three records, uh, you know, that reference that uh, up to this point, a super duper lonely guy. Again, that introspectiveness, that loneliness uh, that uh, resonates with so many people through, uh, throughout Cuddy's catalog and music, man. And then we get that chord 
course, down and out. Uh, so I'm out and down then looking for a substance to drown in. Uh, very catchy chorus, very honest, uh, just right out of the gate here by, uh, from Cuddy, man. So I, I dug that one. And now we're going to Is There Any Love featuring Wale. Uh, this is going to sample Dear God by Monsters of Folk. And it's uh, also famous for being uh, featured in the uh, Danny McBride movie, 30 Minutes or Less. Can't say I've seen that. I know who Danny McBride is. But uh, let's check this one out, man. All right. Is There Any Love? Uh, shout out to Emil on the um, production. Uh, the beat on here once it hit that chorus, man. Very soulful. Is there any love in this world? Like it, uh, it, it just fit uh, fit quite nicely with uh, with this song, man. Um, Cuddy uh, again uh, impressed me on here. Wale uh, didn't blow me away, so to speak, but I still thought it was a solid feature. I do like some Wale from uh, from kind of this uh, early 2010s or late uh, 2000s era, man. Um, I was I was spinning the song Ambition back in the day a lot uh, in, in high school. That's my experience with Wale, and I know he's a big professional wrestling fan like uh, like I was back in the day, too. But uh, uh, all that to say, I think that uh, that third verse was uh, pretty tight. It has some Cleveland references, apparently the plane dealer. Um, and uh, he, he notes that uh, back in Cleveland, there were a lot of uh, plane dealers. I'm assuming drug dealers he's talking about. Uh, right there and uh i liked cuddy's line i'm gonna go to war with the devil till we're even bobbing and weaving spiritual hymn singing uh that just mixed and flowed so well with the beat that was going under there no commentary my man i come out swinging um and uh then then kind of leads us right into that chorus again which uh which drops and uh uh th th does so well and um so some good one-liners by both of the guys right here on top of a really strong um you know production and sample so i i can't complain too much ladies and gentlemen and so now we're gonna go to track number four uh cutty git which is gonna sample wild by one of the great uh producers of all time man jay dilla so uh let's uh get into this one all right kind of get up in here man um maybe my least favorite song up to this point just because i wasn't feeling the uh feeling the chorus particularly a lot just with the very uh um, you know, highly pitched vocals. Wasn't feeling that, but Cuddy's verses and portion were uh, really strong, and I always like on mixtapes too, especially early ones, you know, you always get to shout out Plain, you know, Cuddy shouting out Plain Pat again, uh, and then, you know, the producers, I think that's always a, a cool touch, and uh, just kind of gives a different, more almost laid-back feel uh, than you would have on a, you know, traditional studio project. Um, but uh, as we keep going, I think the first verse was the highlight for me, man, the flow from Cuddy, uh, a lot of a great intro internal rhymes that we uh, had in there and um, just uh, his, his flow was uh, just really seamless man and um, you know also had a bit of a confidence in there as well which I, I always like whenever uh, you know rappers display that and just be like you know what it, especially when it comes early in their career he, Cuddy wasn't signed yet whenever he had this you know to like a major label or he hadn't proven himself but he's coming out there with that confidence saying I am gonna achieve this and do this Google me <laughs> Google me people uh, to to you one of my favorite lines from Shaq on Inside the NBA um, and uh, you know you had a uh, you know play on words on a Martin King uh, Jr. at the end there as well and uh, I, another line that stood out uh, and please keep the babes on the feet so I can watch the devil ice grill me I wonder if he's mean and like Cuddy whenever he's gonna die he's gonna be in the babes he's gonna be in the uh, uh, he's gonna be iced out looking great so uh, the devil can try to ice grill him I thought that was a cool play on words maybe a uh, um, may, you, you know, maybe I'm off on that, but I, I thought that was a, a well done uh, line right there, man. So now we're going to go to Man on the Moon, the anthem. Um, this is going to sample Aquarium by uh, No no Sag Thing. It first introduced Cuddy's notorious moon man persona to the world. It's primarily about Cuddy being different, not only in his music, but a different person in life. Uh, Cuddy's Man on the Moon reference is simply an exaggeration of him being such a different person that he's out of the, uh, this world. Uh, hence, he is that man on the moon. Of course, that would be the uh, title of his, uh, you know, debut debut record. Uh, Cuddy would later go on and use the Man on the Moon alias for his acclaimed album trilogy, Man on the Moon, The End of the Day, on which this song was included as a bonus track. And then, of course, Man on the Moon 2, The Legend of Mr. Rager in 2010. And then just recently in 2020, we had Man on the Moon 3, The Chosen. So, uh, all that to say, man, let's cue this one up. All right, man, Man on the Moon. Um, man, what a great, great song. I don't believe I uh, listened whenever we reviewed uh, the original Man on the Moon, the bonus tracks, man. So this was like a first time listen to me best song on this mixtape up to this point man loved the uh 
uh, love just kind of the vibes that the the song brought forth, man. A uh, very chill, mellow tune, and again, got, again, it kind of shows that different uh, side of Cuddy and some of that side that we would uh you know see in Spades, you know, a year later on that uh, Man on the Moon uh, debut record. Um, and he notes at the start that he never cared what anyone thought about him. Uh, but then I liked it where he's like, I mean, I did, but I mean, F it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, that that idea. I think whenever you're kind of coming into your own, um, where you want people. To like your stuff and yet deep down at the end of the day you know who who should who really cares if i'm out here doing what i love um and you know cut even says you're gonna love me man and then he kind of goes into how his music and his um, persona and just personality is different than what uh, everybody else is around at the time man and uh he starts questioning uh would i be like more if i was a jerk or if i was simple mind or boring or this or that um and then we go to the the course which is just great uh, i'd be that man on the moon i'm that man on the moon i'm gonna do what i do so do you hey i'd be posted with my blunt and a brew my dude i'm that man on the moon uh it's so catchy and uh again just uh, the beat is so chilled laid back mellow uh it just uh, kind of works well and i know shane's a couple years older than i but this definitely has nostalgic kind of a uh, um high school vibes for me in that time even though you know i wasn't like a cutty fan at the time just some of the other you know him and mac and uh other artists of that time man kind of throws you back so I, I always enjoy when songs do that. But now we're going to go up to The Prayer right here. Going to sample the funeral by a group called Band of Horses, a rock band who uh, my dad actually did a top 10 reaction to recently. So uh, kind of interesting how uh, that's here. So I'll be curious how uh, how Plain Pat samples this. All right, The Prayer. Uh, I'm going to have to say this is now my favorite song on the mixtape, man. I know I just said that um, but uh, about uh, Man on the Moon, but... I mean, this song was great, dude. This song was awesome. I loved the uh, loved the sample in there. And um, again, just how vulnerable Cuddy was on this from uh, coming out of the gate as an artist. Uh, not easy to do. Um, he also shouted out the apple bottom jeans, the boots with the fur, uh, flow riders low back in the day, man. Uh, <laughs> it, but essentially saying that, hey, you're not going to be remembering that. You'll be remembering me. Uh, he muses a lot on uh, his death and um, just, uh, you know, kind of mental state. Uh, and then we uh, have that chorus where it kind of takes that nursery rhyme. If I die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. But please don't cry. Just know that I made these songs for you. Interesting, too, at the very start, you know, his first project already coming out with a song. Um, uh, kind of prophetic uh, in, in the sense of like, hey, I'm going to be so good and do this that I'm going to be making these songs that are going to have that emotional impact for you that even when I die, you'll still be able to queue up, uh, so to speak, man. And so, hey, man, Cuddy had that confidence and props to him, man, because he he, uh, he called a shot, so to speak, right there, man. And he notes, uh, and, uh, God, please help me. I'm feeling so alone. I don't need to worry because I know the world will feel this. So again, those two sides, that confidence and then that, mm, I don't know if I really have what it takes to go through with this. I have those doubts in my own mind. I think that's, uh, you know, Cuddy's one of the, the great rappers um, of being able to kind of get to the heart of, of that balancing act um, of that. So all that to say, man, really, really enjoyed this song. And I like uh, I like how um, he says, I'm ready for the funeral because he, you know, was sampling funeral by Band of Horses. I thought that was a pretty cool uh, touch too. I'm going to go to his most famous song, I'd say. Uh, if it's not, it's right up there. We have Day and Night, first ever single, and uh, reached three on the U.S. Billboard charts, sold over five million copies in the U.S. Cuddy, over the years, has said on the track that, quote, my uncle and I uh, that I lived with passed in 06. We were actually beefing because he forced me out of the house when I didn't have another situation set up. So I was bitter. I never apologized for it, and that kills me. And that's why I wrote Day and Night. The track serves as Cuddy's justification for this beef with his deceased uncle and the way he deals with the pain of their unresolved issues. The drugs help him run, but it's the madness of the industry in making it that caused the problems in the first place. 2012, Cuddy said, quote, in day and night, the lonely stoner is me. That's what it is. Like, pretty much, it's like it was a point in uh, my time where I would go, like, cop bud, listen to Ratatat for hours on end, and just write songs by myself uh, and smoke. Basically, I would come up with these ideas and 
run into the studio, uh, which was down the hall, to Odot's room, and I tell them my ideas. We'd lay it down, and then cycle would continue. I would go back up to my room. I'd be MIA, zone out, right? So in that time, uh, that that time frame is me speaking about, you know, what I was going through at that point in time. It was a very, very, very dark, gloomy shadow over my life at that point. Uh, the light bulb in my room didn't work, so the only thing illuminating the room was the sunlight. When the daylight went, it was a wrap. My room was dark and I would just sit there and just write, you know what I mean, and just zone out. So the Lonely Stoner is me. You know, anybody that connects with that, thanks for connecting with that because I am you and you are me type shit, like for real. Well said by Cuddy there. And um, let's, uh, let's cue this one up, man. Always a good time to listen to this song. All right, man, the iconic day and night. Uh, I mean, it's one of Cuddy's most revered songs for a reason, man. It, uh, I think, just encapsulates the uh, that era so well here, these uh, late 2000s, man. And I just love, you know, as soon as it starts and you get the, you know, the panning in the headphones, do, 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 do. like, you, you know you're in it, man. Great use of the sense in here as well. Beat is iconic. And, um, you know, again, just like what I was reading at the start from Cuddy's own words, just the, the loneliness, the lonely stoner, and just uh, getting uh, uh, you know, kind of into that mindset and um, expounding upon that in this track, man. I think it uh, resonates with a lot of people, um, no matter when they first hear it, so to speak. Uh, legendary, legendary track, not only from Cuddy, but I think of of the era. And uh, man, I don't have too much more to add to it. It's just a, a really a fantastic song and if I play a, a Cuddy track for you know somebody who doesn't know him um, I, I think this is like a good you know a good one to play even though it is is like most famous that's not always the case um, to you know be a good introduction for somebody but in Cuddy's case it definitely is man so I uh, I, I really uh, really dig this song man and now we're gonna go to uh, Embrace the Martian so uh, let's hear what we have in store here All right Embrace the Martian coming in here man maybe the most um, pop rap type of song that we've had on here so far man that chorus especially man you could uh, see this song uh, honestly being released as a single in my opinion just because of how catchy that chorus was uh, and again kind of playing into um, what we've had on the previous few tracks uh, embracing that man on the moon uh, outsider persona that Cuddy is going with embrace the Martian embrace the Martian I come in peace but I need y'all rocking me uh, just as he said on some previous tunes in here, that desire, that um, maybe need to be um, enjoyed and uh, maybe beloved by uh, fans and uh, respected by peers. Um, and uh, so uh, maybe not his heaviest hitting lyricism here, and yet uh, very catchy um, and um, just a, a very nice beat too. Um, like the, uh, the the sense that we're going in there. And uh, man, don't have too much more to add to it than that. But we are going up now to Maui Wowie uh, samples I'm So High by ground, uh, by Grind Mode. And uh, based on the title, I feel we're going to get some uh, some marijuana references. So let's see what we got here. All right, Maui Wowie uh, coming in here, man. Just a fun party type track, uh, noting Cuddy's love for the Maui Wowie strain uh, found in Honolulu, man. And he just kind of ex explains that. Definitely having fun with it. Uh, like I said, kind of a nighttime, you know, tropical type beat as well. Definitely had the mellow vibes as you'd expect in a song like this man and um you could tell he was having fun with it i like the john legend uh, um interlude in there as well which was kind of fun and uh and, and the ending uh, fart i don't know what that was but that was uh you could tell cut he's just having fun cutting this in the studio man uh and all in all just a, a a fun track in here to mix in with some of the more introspective uh, songs that we've had. So uh, I, I like that Cuddy switching it up here on this mixtape uh, in regards to content. And now we're going to go to 50 Ways to Make a Record. Uh, it samples 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover by the great Paul Simon. So I'm going to be curious how uh, that uh, comes into play here and uh, see how, how uh, Creative Cuddy gets with it. All right, 50 Ways to Make a Record. One of my favorite samples on uh, on here so far, man, and there have been a lot of great ones, but uh, knowing the original, you know, Paul Simon track that this samples, uh, I just thought, uh, you know, the production um, by uh, Plain Pat and company, man, was um, really well done. 
done and uh Cuddy was able to make the the most of it and uh, again talk about his artistry about how maybe he isn't going to be um, making records um to be mainstream or whatever the case may be but he's going to make it his way um show off his creativity his uh, uniqueness and um whatever may come may come and uh i i think that whole idea of there's not just one way to make music or create your art or express yourself is a uh, is, is something you can apply to anything whether you're making music or you know art or uh, you know movies whatever the case may be man uh, you can apply it to yourself in your own craft I just thought it worked really well with the um, with the, um, the Paul Simon sample and it was cool to even have some, uh, the the little line in uh, would you, you please explain about the 50 ways where Paul Simon came in um, and you know man I, I just dug what Cuddy had to say again quite mellow which uh, I, I appreciated as well so now we're gonna go to whenever uh, only two minutes long it's gonna go back and sample Outcast again this time pink and blue so uh, let's hear this All one. right whenever short sweet to the point man um, again good use of the sample here love the strings and that Outcast track uh, pink and blue and um, you know here we just uh, have Cuddy focusing on his uh, his love of women his love of his girl right here uh, the way she makes him feel and uh, I like the uh, uh, we had a couple callbacks you could kind of tell this was made in, in 08 um, we had a uh, you dance in my mind like justice uh, justice is a uh, record cross is a great album of the time man so uh, kind of cool I always like when uh, artists throw out uh, shout outs to other artists so uh, I enjoyed that and um, it, I like the Cuddy laid back so gentle like the violins lay on the beat you know and then the the strings kind of came up around that time too which was pretty cool and um, you know man not going to be a top track per se for me but uh, in in sequencing of this uh, mixtape man it's a uh, it fit well um, and just uh, you know kind of like I said man switching around a bunch of uh, subject matter here so now we're gonna go to pillow talk it samples happy by uh, surface and um, let's uh, let's see if we, we keep the the love vibes going based on the title I'm gonna say so but who knows I, I might be surprised all right man pillow talk bringing it in here uh, yeah again I kept the uh, the love vibes going in uh, talking about this girl who was a uh, who was different than uh, everybody else that uh, Cuddy was around at the time man uh, noting the, the the chemistry and the love that was in the air um, but uh, and, and knowing too that hey I'm gonna stick around I ain't gonna I ain't gonna bounce on out of here um, and just gonna be there for that pillow talk so to speak probably just to be honest my least favorite uh, song on here up to this point um, a beat was a bit more um, you know just kind of run of the mill to, to my ears and uh, Cuddy's vocals it, yeah just uh, felt a bit uninspired just uh, to me personally but uh, hey man that's uh, that's just me it might be your favorite and uh, and that's cool but now we're gonna go to save my soul the uh, Cuddy confession uh, danger mouse producing this and samples who's gonna save my soul tonight by Gnarls Barkley Let's get it. I'll save my soul. Uh, man, what a big step up for me, at least, from Pillow Talk. Uh, one of my favorites on this uh, mixtape so far, man. I, I loved, uh, you know, CeeLo at the the start and end. Um, I, I thought that was great. And one of Cuddy's best verses uh, so far on the project, man. Um, it kind of fits with a bit of a, a bit more darker type beat. Um, it, you know, the, the beat still had a, a bit of bounce in it, so to speak. But uh, it, it, it was a bit more dark uh, with um, Cuddy's vocal delivery here as well um some of my favorite lines call me a hipster as long as you're a listener label me what you like um he continues to go on talking about uh, six figure checks for my mom for peace everyone wants to stick on me like leech um what else we also had uh, there there were some uh, some there was a really good one. Oh, no worries i just kill a bitch with success while she at home is <laughs> stressed out eating ice cream i'm at the grammys living out a nice dream i thought that was great um and uh i i just think that uh, the ending who throws you the peace sign missed not one step and this is just the first step god walks with me but i'm still vexed so again just kind of that that darkness that's uh that surrounding cuddy right here man uh still uh, quite prominent uh in his um in his his verse and yet he also notes hey i'm out here living my dreams getting my success and uh coupled that with the production i thought uh, this song was fantastic and now we're gonna go to tgif um featuring chip the ripper who uh appeared on uh the man on the moon um project as well the original so uh let's uh let's check this one right, out tgif not thank god it's friday people thank god i'm fresh as uh old chip the ripper let us know in this first verse right here man uh, i thought his guest verse was good i quite enjoyed the beat man had a bit of a funky 
craziness, a kind of weird nature to it, um, and uh, you know, like uh, contrasted with the um, more kind of traditional, um, you know, hip hop uh, braggadocious nature that we had on this song, man, talking about just how how fresh balls of them were, man, and the women and and cars and all that good stuff, man. And I thought the yet again, Cuddy did a great job with the chorus, uh, just kind of building it up to that last line. Um, Pimp type, get it right, homie, more or less. I gotta thank God, I'm fresh. Um, good flow right here, man. And uh, shoot, I don't I don't have too much to add. Uh, shout out to uh, um, to to Bape though. They they they're getting the shout outs left and right from Cuddy here, and uh, I, I I thought that was a uh, kind of notable and, and cool too. Uh, cool too. Um, and now we're gonna go to Cuddy Spaz and uh, sample Spaz by Nerd. So uh, let's check this out. Cuddy Spaz and and uh, based on the name, I was expecting some great flow, great rap, and and uh, that's what we had in here. One of the best, I think, just uh, bar for bar songs that we've had on uh, this mixtape so far. Man, love the wordplay, especially in the first first verse um with uh you know just every line seemingly flowing one to the next uh great rhyming on on that man and uh then we get the yet again we still get a very uh, catchy chorus uh kind of showing on both sides to his um you know musical ability right and catchy choruses while also being able to hold his own um rapping as well man open up your heart and you, and you will understand me fall into the music and let yourself go i like that message whether it's cutty or any type of music man Man, just kind of turn everything else off and just dive into the music and uh, and enjoy it. And uh, we had the uh, Steve Urkel shout out, looking for Laura. A shout out, Family Matters. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and uh, at, at the end, describing my heart as titanium alloy. Uh, so if you come up with ploys to destroy my passion, I'm gonna tell you now, you are uh, better off pass and stop writing checks that your ass can't cash. And bro, uh, I thought that was cool. And then you know, shouted out everybody at the end from Plain Pat and Amelia. To, to Kanye, so uh, that was pretty cool too. And um, now we are down to the last two tracks. We got Cleveland is the reason, uh, produced by Dot the Genius right here. I know uh, you know Shane likes this one being a from from the land as well. So uh, expecting a lot of shout outs to to Cleveland here. Let's see what we got. All right, Cleveland is the reason, man. Yet again, you know we've had all different types of tracks here, and uh, wouldn't be a complete debut mixtape without shouting out your home city, man. And that's that's what Cuddy does in spades here and uh you know just really describing Cleveland and um you know just the the growing up there the environment um some different things around there uh I'm sure some of these references I would get if I've ever been to the land maybe one day man me and Shane will meet up and who knows go to a Cuddy concert that would be sick uh but uh, uh yet again some uh the the beat I really quite enjoyed how uh, Dr. Genius messed with that man and uh, just um kind of the just uh, some of the the, the the weird sounds that were in there, man, kind of gave it a, a quirky type of vibe, and yet for some reason it, it kind of fit. Maybe uh maybe it uh you know fit with the uh, you know Cleveland itself and its identity right there, man. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm probably reading too much into it, but I did enjoy it, man. And uh, I, I kind of liked in the chorus where it uh, was like Cuddy's voice was again coming through a, a bit muffled or whatnot. Um, I, I thought that was cool. I like the um, cooler than a polar bear's toes. Again, a nice outcast reference right there. Uh, when Big Boy said a uh, cooler than a polar bear's toenails, uh, I believe on AT Aliens. And so, um, yeah, yet again, quite a catchy uh, chorus. And uh, I like the shout out to the OJs as well. Great soul group. Um, and just uh, describing, uh, you know, just enjoying enjoying life, cruising through Cleveland and uh, seeing where the night takes you, essentially. So uh, shout out, shout out to the land. Shout out to that song. And now we're finishing it up, people, with Heaven at Night, uh, our final song on this. Uh, Ratatat uh, is on here and uh, on production and uh, also sampling one of Ratatat's songs. So uh, after that, I will let y'all know Shane's favorite songs, my favorite songs, and my thoughts on A Kid Named Cuddy. And Heaven at Night, great song to end us off, man. Uh, gonna be in my favorites. I thought the uh, sample by a Ratatat was fantastic. And uh, especially that guitar work uh, soaring in there, um, you know, almost felt a little Mike Mike Dean esque uh, at time uh, for all you Kanye fans out there, man. But you know, Cuddy started off asking us, "Have you ever been to heaven at night?" Um, you know, I like that kind of uh, contrast there. When you think heaven, you think you know, you know, very bright and uh, and, and whatnot in the clouds.
clouds, this and that. Where is this? Uh, heaven at night. Interesting. He says, closing your eyes, the feeling so right. At first, you might see just one bright beam of light clutching your soul to the toll of the bright. Happy unites and feelings take flight. Blind to the evils, you give them no sight. Focus on floating, your focus is tight. Like I mean, uh, just the the flow on this man was uh was 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 so silky smooth, man. I I, I loved uh, uh, Cuddy's delivery, especially in that first verse, man. And then uh, just that chorus, just asking, have you have you ever been to heaven at night? Heaven at night, uh, quite catchy and um. Man, just uh, it's one that, that that flew on by. I know it was only three minutes, but uh, I, I quite enjoyed it. A, a great way to wrap up this mixtape, which I guess will now take us to favorite tracks. I'll get to Shane's first. He's going down and out. Man on the Moon, The Prayer, uh, Day and Night, Embrace the Martian, Maui Wowie, TGIF, Cuddy Spasm, and Cleveland is the Reason. Uh, I'm going to share a lot of yours uh, as well there, Shane. Uh, I'll just take it from the top. Down Out uh, is right up there. Is There Any Love? I thought was great. Um, and then that run from a man on the moon uh, to the prayer and of course day and night uh, was fantastic as well uh, 50 ways to make a record with that Paul Simon sample was really strong uh, save my soul I quite enjoyed a lot and then uh, heaven at night is also gonna make it here for me which I guess will take it down to my overall thoughts and score of this mixtape man uh, what impressed me the most about this is how polished a project this was right out of the gate for Cuddy here his debut mixtape his debut project and uh, he was able, you know, knowing, knowing his work up, you know, post this, uh, to see those themes of uh, that introspective nature, the, uh, the, the drug themes, the mental health, um, while also, you know, repping Cleveland, having some fun uh, with, you know, some weed songs, some women songs, some party songs, uh, kind, of, kind of threw everything out there. And uh, I thought uh, the, the track listing was uh, really smooth. It's about a 50 minute project with 17 tracks. So uh, nothing really overstays its welcome per se. There were only a couple tracks on here that I wasn't feeling feeling. Um, I will say I thought the first half of the mixtape was uh, the strongest portion, which is what you normally find on debut projects. Uh, it dipped a little bit in the second half for me, but uh, we picked it up on those last couple tracks for sure. Um, so all that to say, man, a great flow by Cuddy here. Liked what he had to say. You could tell he was on fire and passionate about uh, bringing forth a really good project. So for me, man, first listen, I thought I enjoyed it. I'm going to seven and a half out of ten for me. And um, it's times like this where I wish, uh, you know, mixtapes were on streaming, man, because there's a lot, uh, especially, uh, you know, like The Prayer um, and uh, Having It Night and uh, Down Out, like that I'd love to add to my playlist, man. But hey, uh, thank, I guess that's why uh, YouTube's out there, man. So uh, all that to say, really enjoyed this one. Thanks to Shane for uh, suggesting this. Let me know what you think of A Kid Named Cuddy uh, down below in your favorite tracks. And uh, if you'd like to support the channel in any way, have us do a song uh, or a uh, reaction or battle or an album reaction like Shane you can check out our patreon page which is linked below as well as at the end screen along with another video you might enjoy I'll put up the uh, Kid Cudi uh, man on the moon uh, debut uh, the review that my dad and I did uh, a lot of uh, good information um, that was a fun one to talk about there and uh, if you like the video be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that big red subscribe button we appreciate it here but uh, I guess that'll wrap it up today for me ladies and gentlemen so until next time thanks for watching happy listening and I will see you.